Hey there and welcome back. Uh, this video for the Duet is about the virtual instructor functions with on, within the Duet aircraft. And uh, I read a lot more about it. There's a lot of information on the website. And so what you're going to see next is my comments on the website and it shows the website and what it explains. So I'll be right back after uh, this short little clip and explain a few more things about the Duet. So this is the Hobby Zone website and uh, I wanted to explain to you what Virtual Instructor is. Virtual Instructor is one of the technologies from Horizon Hobby, uh, Hobby Zone being one of their brands. And Virtual Instructor is in the Duet as well as so, uh, some other aircraft. So as you can see here, um, it is a uh, technology that assists in um, uh, people just learning to fly. Uh, so let me show you what they uh, what they offer. There are three things that the virtualist instructor does. So the first thing it does is uh, provide stability assistance. Stability assistance is like uh, when when uh, you've seen in some of my videos, the previous videos, uh, when the wind is blowing, it keeps the aircraft steady. Um, and uh, it's an important uh, function. It's similar to uh, the Sport Cub S has this functionality. Um, but this is a little bit simpler than the Sport Cub S. So um, wind and turbulence is uh, dampened, not completely, but uh, enough to make it important uh, feature for you to understand. The second thing is the flight assistance. Flight assistance is where um, when you let go of the, you start a turn and you let go of the stick, it automatically levels the wings. Okay, so when you, if you're not sure of um, where the aircraft is, just let go of the stick and it will return it to level flight. If you're not sure which way to turn left or right in your inner turn, just let go of the stick and it will level the aircraft for you. Uh, and an important feature um, for a beginning beginning pilot. Turning assistance is the third function that it does. So turning assistance makes sure you don't over control the aircraft. So if you make a mistake it will prevent you from turning too far. Um, so you can't, in fact it, it limits you from being able to roll the aircraft over. So those are the three things that um, uh, virtual assistance, um, I'm sorry, the virtual instructor does. And so uh, it's a good technology. Uh, it seemed to work very well. And uh, uh, I believe it is a valuable asset to anybody just learning to fly and wanting to fly the uh, Duet aircraft. So as you can see from the uh, Hobby Zone website that the virtual instructor is on all the time, which is a good thing for this aircraft. Um, that's, uh, that's different than what's on the uh, Hobby Zone Sport Cub S, which has the safe technology where you can either be in beginner, intermediate, or advanced. And advanced really is just you turn the safe portion off. There is no safe. Uh, uh, except for, actually, except for the fact you always have the panic button. Uh, I'll be uh, covering the, the uh, Sport Cub S um, in much more detail in a later set of videos. Um, but comparing, as you've seen in previous videos, the uh, Sport Cub S with the Duet, <clears throat> the Duet is really a pretty good airplane for its price. Remember that that's about $60. The Sport Cub S is twice that price, $120, $130. Um, or uh, equivalent in the fact that the Sport Cub S at that price comes with a radio. Um, and you'll see more about that later. A couple of the points about the Duet I want to make sure you understand. In the videos you've seen me flying at the field, I fly at a, at a regular AMA sanctioned uh, club field 
with plenty of room. From where I'm standing to the trees you see on the far side is over 400 feet. And uh, so you could see the airplane getting further and further away and might have been getting close to the limit of 300 feet, <clears throat> which is the recommended safe distance for the aircraft to fly away from the transmitter that is in this air, uh, airplane. This transmitter, uh, which is pictured there, is not a full range spectrum transmitter. In fact, it's not even the, the spectrum standard DSM or DSMX. Um, and that's why you can't use any transmitter to fly the, the uh, duet. So because of its limited range, you need to pick some place um, where you have a clear amount of trees, uh, no trees, no obstacles, and so forth. And you could see how I was flying that the uh, it takes a lot of room. Uh, having 200 feet or more is important. Um, a football field, a soccer field, they're 300 feet long, probably a good... Uh, um, but you, the length is not as important as the width. Sometimes you need to fly in a circle like I was doing. So you need to make sure you have at least uh, two to 300 feet of clearance in a circle uh, in front of you. Um, uh, you've also probably noted that I never said anything about trim. The, this um, receiver has trim buttons uh, on it for both uh, left and right turning and up and down and I never had to touch them which is good uh, it means it comes out of the box uh, properly set um, and uh, if it doesn't come out of the box properly set you might want to call Horizon to find out why but uh, um, uh, trimming just wasn't necessary at some other point I'll show you about trimming in general for airplanes like this, but in this case, it came out of the box very nice. Last thing I want to mention was, uh, I mentioned that uh, I don't uh, charge and fly at the same time with this transmitter. <clears throat> uh, I tried it and it works, but I still do not recommend it. The reason is, is you're, you're taxing the batteries in the transmitter and you don't want those batteries to fail while you're flying. So to me, you can charge and fly at your own risk. I prefer to use the, the separate charger. And uh, uh, as long as you got brand new batteries, it'll probably work okay. But if you got some old weak batteries in there, it might uh, charge, the charging uh, might take uh, away from those batteries. So that's just a few extra comments. I hope you enjoyed this. You learned a little bit more about Virtual Instructor. And thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video.